Norway is set to bolster its military arsenal by acquiring ML or S High Mars, following a preliminary agreement from the U.S. Department of Defense. The planned purchase will see Norway acquiring 16 ML or S High Mars for a total expenditure of $580 million. This substantial contract ISNT just about the launchers. It also encompasses a variety of ammunition. With Norway planning to secure 15 GM LRS rocket units alongside 15 M31 to 2 GM LRS unitary high explosive rocket units, adding further firepower. The delivery will include 100 blocks of AT ACMS tactical missiles beyond the long range munitions. Norway will also be obtaining LCRRPR reduced fire rifles. The comprehensive contract extends to spare parts, military training for Norwegian personnel, and other integral components. The agreement is now pending final approval from the U.S. Congress. According to a detailed analysis from Bulgarian military comp, it has anticipated that Congress will gur and light the sale without any stipulations. This proposed sale will support the foreign policy goals and national security objectives of the United States by IMPR, owing the security of a NATO ally that is an important force for political stability and economic progress in Europe. The proposed sale will improve Norway's capability to meet current and future threats and enhance its interoperability with U.S. and other allied forces. It will also enhance Norway's artillery and mid-range fire capability. Norway will have no difficulty absorbing this equipment into its armed forces. The proposed sale of this equipment and support will not alter the basic military balance in the region. The principal contractor will be Lockheed Martin, located in Grand Prairie, TX. The purchaser typically requests offsets. Any offset agreement will be defined in negotiations between the purchaser and the contractor. Implementation of this proposed sale will require up to eight U.S. government and up to five contractor representatives to travel to Norway for program management. Reviews to support the program. Travel is expected to occur approximately twice per year as needed to support equipment fielding and training. There will be no adverse impact on U.S. defense readiness as a result of this proposed sale. Norway's military currently operates the M-70 multiple launch rocket system, MLRS. The M-70 MLRS is known for its ability to deliver rapid and precise firepower. It can launch 12 rockets in less than a minute each capable of striking targets up to 70 kilometers away. The system can be equipped with different types of ammunition, including guided rockets and tactical missiles, allowing it to adapt to various mission requirements. Another advantage of the M-70 MLRS is its mobility. Mounted on a track chassis, it can traverse difficult terrain and keep pace with mechanized units. The M-70 MLRS also benefits from advanced targeting and fire control systems. These systems enable precise targeting and coordination with other units, improving the accuracy and efficiency of their strikes. This technological sophistication is a significant factor in its continued use by Norway's military. HIMARS is a multiple rocket launcher system developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States military. It is designed to provide fire support for a range of operations, from counterinsurgency to full-scale conventional warfare. In terms of dimensions, the HIMARS is approximately 7 meters long, 2.4 meters wide, and 3.2 meters high. 
Its compact size allows it to be easily transported by air, sea, or land, making it highly deployable in various combat scenarios. The propulsion system of the High Mars consists of a diesel engine that powers the vehicle. This engine provides the necessary torque and speed to maneuver the system across diverse terrains, ensuring it can keep pace with advancing troops or reposition rapidly as needed. The High Mars is built on a modified family of medium tactical vehicles FMT V5 ton truck chassis. This chassis is known for its durability and off-road capability, making it suitable for the rugged conditions often encountered in military operations. Control systems for the High Mars include advanced fire control and targeting systems. These systems allow for precise targeting and coordination with other military assets. The onboard computer systems enable operators to input target data, select munitions, and execute firing sequences with high accuracy. The primary armament of the High Mars includes a variety of rockets and missiles. It can carry six guided multiple launch rocket system GMLRS rockets or one army. Tactical Missile System ATACMS Missile The GMLRS rockets are known for their precision and extended range. While the ATACMS provides a long-range strike capability, the operational range of the HIMARS varies depending on the munitions used. GMLRS rockets have an effective range of approximately 70 to 150 kilometers. While the ATACMS missile can reach targets up to 300 kilometers away, this range flexibility allows the High Mars to engage targets at varying distances, providing tactical and strategic advantages on the battlefield.